Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The date, February 22nd, the year 2002. In front of you and me is Chris Prillo's blog, Straight Out of the Year 2002. Now, I brought you back in time to explain to you about how the internet is changing, how websites are changing, and how uh, creating websites and content on websites has really gone from something very simple to something much more complex. And I'd like to uh, take you through four four different ways you can improve your current website uh, and so hang on one second here thank god it worked that's a surprise uh, uh, I mean of course it worked my way back machine always works anyway Here's Chris Brill's blog from present day, and as you can see, it looks very, very different than it used to. Much more complex, much more up-to-date, much more uh, going on, and he's doing that by using current services. Um, like WordPress, you know, new codes, embeds, all those things. But I'd like to take you through, like I said, four ways that you can improve your website today, just like Chris and just about everyone else has been improving their website over the years. So here we go. The first service is Wufu.com. Um, spelled as such, um, and what Wufu does is it is a, well, as you can see right up front, in make, making forms easy, fast, and fun. That's what they do. They make all sorts of different forms, and this is really great because you can get high-end, really professional, top-of-the-line features on really any website you'd like. It's as simple as a quick code embed HTML, so let's take a look at some examples. And here you can see a mailing list, so you could set up a whole list of people to... Spam. Who said that? That was weird. You can set up a whole list of people to email uh, as soon as you update your blog or add something in porn, add some new feature, add something just to just to uh, inform a whole list of people something you've done. You also have a contact form, which is a great way for people to. You. Who's saying that? It is I. Who's I? I. Well, can you stop it? I. Yes. Thanks. As I was saying, a contact form is a great way for people to not spam you, but get in touch with you, ask you questions, uh, give you suggestions, comments, all that great stuff. And it's really easy because when that contact form is there, you'll be very surprised at how many people use it uh, because it's so easy. It's right there in front of you. And what's really great about Wufu is they have online dashboards. You can see analytics and track how many people are using that form, stats, all that information. But And the, you know, by mailing this, you could export a whole list into address book and all that. Um, and the list goes on and on customer satisfaction, employment application, and so on and so forth. Keep in mind the Wufu is only free for three forms. After those three, you do have to pay, but for the first three, it's free, and three free is more than enough for a typical user like myself, or probably like you. The second service is mobify.com. Me, Mobify.me. Uh, and what that lets you do is uh, it basically allows you to take any website from any service, whether it be WordPress, Blogger, Custom Domain, anything, and make a mobile version of the site, as you can see right up front. So it's much more content-rich, easy to navigate on a an iPhone, BlackBerry, or as they claim, up to five thousand phones. And I've got to tell you, uh, I was extremely impressed with how easy it was. The entire process has been incredibly enjoyable, and I've already begun recommending Mobify to my friends and colleagues. Oh shoot! Did, could you see that? I just read that off of. Never mind. <sighs> Anyway, but no, Mobify is a nice way to get um, to, to really get users uh, to go to your site because if you go to a site on iPhone and it looks exactly like it does on the desktop, it's just not easy to browse around. But when you have that mobile version or Mobified version of that website for people to look at, it's much easier. And again, Mobify, just like Wufu, has uh, stats and statistics so you can see um, how many people are using that mobile site and so on and so forth. So that's a really nice addition and it, it just seems like 
lot more professional. So that is number two, Mobify. Number three is Weebia. These are the toolbars that you see running along the bottom of oh so many sites nowadays, and they're really very useful. Just to give you a quick run through of the features, you can search the page, see how many people are online and where they are, uh, and then you you can have all these custom little applications. You can run a link to live video, translate the entire page, featured sites, uh, go link straight to YouTube and so on. Share the page, RSS feature, uh, RSS feature. Sorry, you can have exam a fan page, a Twitter page, uh, chat. You can have custom chat from the Weebia bar, and then notifications. You can push notifications out to your users. But what's really great about Weebia is it's as simple as getting an account, logging in, and then everything else is straight from interface. There's no coding necessary, nothing like that. It'll install straight into WordPress, Blogger, or a custom domain with just a few clicks. Uh, and then from there, like I said, from the dashboard, you just drag and drop things to line it up exactly how you want. Very simple, very easy. Um, and why wouldn't you get it? it again, con it, it's a convenience for users. It's very nice. I am getting great response from using it on my site at fearcon.com, and I recommend that you do as well. And the last site I'd like to talk about today is domains.tagjag.com. This is a service actually Chris Perillo himself is offering, uh, and what it does is its original intended use is to come up with a domain name for you or give you options for a domain name. So say you wanted a you wanted to create a tech-related website. So you would say put in uh, another tech-related website like engadget.com. And it'll give you five options pulled from keywords on that site. Nintendo Sapien, Intendum Need, Hawaii Packing, or Huawei Packing, Weblogs Winner, GoingRobotic.com. Those are all great domains. You can buy them straight from there. So if you're looking to start a website, domains attached to com is a is probably one of the best places to start and it's one click to register straight with GoDaddy but but if you currently have a website you can also use domains.tagjag.com to kind of get a good idea of what keywords are going to be on your site because what's the keywords are so important because crawlers like Google, Yahoo, all well not Yahoo anymore, Bing, all those places uh, send out crawlers to your site to pick up keywords and that's what they index them based on. So to get a good idea of what kind of keywords crawlers would pick up, you could plug in your blog, your address and kind of get a better idea of what keywords you should be focusing on and what keywords you should be focusing less on. So it's a great idea to use that for a current website as well. I actually got this one more uh, open right here. This is uh, a typical YouTube comments page here that I uh, actually found the, uh, the 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 link for and just kind of threw in there to see you know what what we could get from that. And what he yourgay dot com uh, check my vids dot com l m a o l o l dot com if you don't post this comment somewhere then bad things will happen to you believe me it's true dot com that's not taken. Huh. Whew. I guess this domains at tagjag.com thing works a little too well. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my few jokes and uh, the information that I gave you. Uh, if you'd like more from me, you can head on over to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash thedevirkan and subscribe. I have the technology series running there if you'd like to watch that. Uh, and if you have any questions about any of the uh, services I mentioned or really anything at all, you can email me. Mail at devirkan.com is my email address. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on another episode of technology. Until then, wish you luck in improving your website. Thank you